Netball Jamaica Elite League continued last Friday, but in its new location at the National Arena. The first encounter saw Salad Dwellers Kingston Hummingbirds face off against Table Toppers St. Anne Orchids. The Hummingbirds were at their strongest since the start of the competition, trailing by only a point in the first quarter. They never let up as the match went, tying 23 at the end of the half and 34 at the end of the third quarter. In the end, Kingston Hummingbirds managed to topple St. Anne Orchids 48-47. I'm really super pleased, like it was a real grind out there because at the end of the day we knew what was necessary for us to come out and get the win and I really, I'm really, i really proud of my team, they really stuck to it. We were so disciplined and we listened to the coaches. Unlucky for us, really, really disappointing, disappointing loss. To lose by one goal, that's the, the toughest loss ever but I mean, it was a real grind from both teams. Kingston Hummingbirds obviously did their homework and they came back harder. Uh, we led for most of that game. We led right up to the last minute of that game and we just needed to hold our, ner hold our nerves in the last minute. And it was just one last bad decision that cost us that game. But all in all, it was a good performance. We, went, we wanted to work on some stuff and I saw improvement in this game. So we we'll hope to build on this. Manchester Spurs on six points battled St. Catherine's Racers who were on three points in the second match of the evening. The Spurs were clearly the more dominant of the two from the start of the match, leading in the scoring 10 to six in the first quarter, 18 to 13 in the second. The racers began to stage a fight back by reducing what was a 10 points lead to end the third quarter at 28-25, trailing by only three points. Manchester Spurs were just able to hold on to their three-point lead to finish the match at 40-37. I think the gate is still very much wide open for anybody to make that playoff. Um, we had some really good moments in our game tonight, um, some turning points. It was a ding-dong battle right throughout. So we just have to, you know, go back, look at the positives, work on that, uh, work on that and then just see how much we can con continue to build on it moving into the next game and also just look at the areas that we had a downfall in and try and fix them for the next game. I'm so happy about their, their, their performance because I know they lost to them in the first game and I wasn't there. So um, I was coming out here to do my best and help them to win this match. So I'm, I'm pretty much excited. I mean, it's work in, work, um, work in progress. Um, we made a lot of errors out there because we were up by 10 and then we let them back in. But um, Room for improvement. Matches continue at Jamaica's National Arena this weekend and will also be live on Sports Max beginning at 6 p.m. 7 ECT on Friday and at 4 p.m. 5 ECT start on Sunday live on Sports Max 2. The Netball Jamaica Elite Roundup is brought to you by Parade and Water.